heading over to see a guy called Mark Rowe. Costa Coffee time. <sighs> Subaru Impreza, Civic. Subaru Impreza, faux orange. Yeah, another Subaru Impreza. Four door Mark II Escort. Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Marcus Hayes and as you'll know if you watched the last video, me and my beautiful girlfriend Kat are currently going on a bit of a mad road trip for a couple of days to meet up with some subscribers and check out their cars. Right now we're heading over to see a guy called Mark Rowe, who you may remember sorted us out with some old school faux orange air fresheners. We've currently got the vanilla faux orange air freshener hanging in Roger, Cat's plastic Ford Fiesta. And I've got the original traffic light style one hanging in Maud, my Maud or Mark II Escort. I will leave Mark's email address in the description of this video for any of you guys that want to grab yourself one of those old school faux orange air fresheners. But yeah, we're gonna make our way to Mark's place now, so I'll catch up with you when we get there. Costa Coffee time. Time to fill Roger's tank up as well. Weather is pretty shabby. This has got a Costa coffee. <sighs> All right, so we've made it to our destination and the weather's improved, which is good. And I'm here with Mark and his daughter, Emma. And yeah, it's a bit of a JDM land here. We do have a Mark II Escort to go and have a look at in a minute, but yeah, check out all these Japanese cars. This was actually Emma's first car, a Subaru Impreza. Now, Emma was studying mechanical engineering at college, and yeah, loads of bits have been done to this, including bits on the suspension and the exhaust system. But yeah, what a cool first car. That's uh, Emma's Instagram, by the way. Emma's latest project is this Civic, and she's already changed the wheels. But yeah, this thing has got really, really low mileage. 26,000, you said? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, look how mint this thing is. As you can see, it's sitting really nice thanks to a set of really posh coilovers and it's got a catback exhaust system as well. Check the big can on the back. We've got another Subaru Impreza in here, which is actually Mark's. These come standard with Brembo calipers and 380 discs. And this is a pro drive model, so it'll have like a different intercooler, different turbo, different injectors, fuel pump. So they push 301 as standard. This is 348 as remapped. On the wall, we've got the faux orange air fresheners. As I mentioned earlier, Mark does sell those air fresheners, but he is running out, so if you want to grab one of them, definitely drop him an email. Out the front here, we've got yet another Subaru Impreza, which is actually Mark's missus's car. And this has recently had all the under seal done and stuff. It had the subframes dropped and it's been done properly. Apparently that work cost Mark exactly the same as what the car cost to buy. So yeah, proper petrol head family. And I know it's all Jap at the moment, but as I say, we are going to go and have a look at Mark's Mark II Escort in a minute. Mark's going to show us his back garden while we're here. Oh, nice hat, by the way, Mark. Thanks for grabbing one of them. I know you grabbed the t-shirt as well. I really appreciate that. You're welcome, sir. Best hat I've ever had. <laughs> oh, wow. Check this place out. Wow. Getting them carpet hungry, man. Wow, this is beautiful, man. So while you're driving your cars, your missus relaxes out here, yeah? Oh, 100%. <laughs> Car parts in the... Uh, hall. Yeah, some nice 17 inch wheels for someone. Are well, they for sale, are they? Right, back in Roger the Plastic Fiesta, and we're gonna make the short drive round to see Mark's Mark II Escort. All right, so here she is, Mark's pretty mint, bright red four-door Mark II Escort. It's an 1100L, still got most of its chrome trim and stuff. 
Mark has replaced the wheels for these super lights and the original steelies are in Emma's bedroom which I think is pretty cool so Mark's trying to decide whether he should fit his other wing mirror that he's bought for this car does he drill the holes I mean I keep running old people over and stuff you know <laughs> yeah what would you do would you drill holes in this mint mark to escort I think I would but would you? yeah the car has been vandalized with a few of my stickers thanks for grabbing some stickers Welcome. still got the pea shooter exhaust on it I remember when I shared this on my social media it's so good to see it in real life if anyone's got the chrome trim on the boot for sale do drop us an email and I'll pass your details on to mark Let's look inside it's pretty mint inside isn't it I'm gonna sit in it if that's all right. Yeah, go. Yeah, it's gonna go. <sighs> oh, it's up. Is that the original stereo? I don't know. I'm sure one of you guys will be able to tell me in the comments. Obviously, got a faux orange air freshener hanging from the rear view mirror. It's showing 51,000 miles. Tell me the story. Mentioned in 79, it was a company car for some man called Bruce for three years till 1983. He then bought it from the company and then he owned the car until 2011. He sold it at 1,975 quid. Say so 10 years ago. He then sold it to someone else and then I purchased it about Christmas time. Yeah, it was before. Christmas time. Yeah. And you said you sent it to Keija Motorsport to have a few bits done. Yeah, got suspension work and recommissioned it and stuff. Um, sort of got it to where it is now, really. So that's pretty much the history of the car. I bought it, you know, based thinking, well, I like what you did to yours. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, I like the Z Tech, as I said earlier. I didn't really want to go down a cross flow, too expensive, etc., mm. etc. But the more I've dug into the car, the more it's. It's so original. You know, yeah. Every MOT from new, every service record, 51,000 miles, you know, matching numbers. What do you do? Do you tear it apart? Do you keep it as it is and buy another one? But I love it. It's cool. I like your banded steels. Yeah. I'm quite a fan of banded steels. Mine so. are stupidly wide though. They rather than. Are they sevens or eights? Eights on the back. They're eights. Seven and a half on the front. But okay. I used Mark III Escort four and a half J steelies. Like the offset means you can go to eight. Like if you used Escort steelies, you can't go to eight. What tires do you on yours? Uh, 185, 613. 185s? Yeah, yeah. What, stretched over an eight? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they That's... won't fit otherwise. But it stays on? Yeah. Jesus. So far. Bad, but yeah, no, I like the mini lights. Super lights, rather. Thank you to the car. Doo -doo. Look at that bad boy. So it is the original 1100 crossbow, is it? Yeah, 100%, yeah. 30 horsepower, 40. Uh, I think you're being a little bit optimistic with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, I think. <laughs> but who cares, you know, you're just cruising along mm. and people are beeping you and waving. Causes traffic jams, I love it. All right, so after talking about cars for the last couple of hours, Mark's going to put his Escort back in the garage before the weather turns again. I did actually forget to mention earlier, they dropped the rear one and a half inches and dropped the front two inches. Really sits nice on those super lights now. So Lewis here is actually a bit of a banger racer. He's just been showing me some pictures. This is a van I raced the other day there, and uh, this is a crash that happened the other week at Bradford. Was you in the green car? No, I was in the white one. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was a Rover P4, it was a bit slow. That's probably the best thing I've built, a Mark 1 Granada for a show. I'm gonna build my car for a small price of 400 quid. Cheap yeah. motorsport. Yeah, I wanna do cheap. banger racing. Yeah, it is cheap. <laughs> Lewis actually owns a Mark II Fiesta as well. Well, good luck with your career Thanks. and uh, your potential career. <laughs> sure, get no, get real <laughs> All right, so after another hour of chatting about cars, <laughs> <laughs> hiding in the garage because it's uh, started raining, it's time for us to do the off. Massive thanks for inviting us down. Welcome. Really, really nice to meet you all. And uh, good luck with the ZTEC conversion that you haven't decided to do Watch yet. Watch this face. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, do get in touch with Mark if you want any of those faux orange air fresheners. Yeah, I've got one box left. Yeah, when they're gone, they're gone. That's it. Uh, yeah, no, nah, massive thanks, man, and I'll, I'll chat to you soon. Sure. Through Facebook, no doubt. See you at Santa Pod. Yeah, sweet. Well, what awesome people Mark, Emma and Lewis are. Proper petrol head family. Probably could have stood there for another two hours talking about cars. <laughs> what do you reckon, Kat? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really, really appreciate Mark inviting us down to check out the Mark II Escort. We're actually staying in Eastbourne today. Hopefully the weather isn't as bad as it is around here. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah. I think we'll uh, carry on this video when we get to our hotel and then we need to think about finding somewhere decent to get some grub. 
Well, we've made it to Eastbourne and the weather is slightly better. And we found our hotel for the night. Check out the Abbey Road picture. Right, let's see uh, what kind of tip Kat has booked us. Pink. Oh my God. Not bad. Apart from the pink, oh my god. Got a desk for editing the videos. Cool London inspired picture. After a quick wardrobe change, let's see if we can find some decent grub to eat. Well, we decided to find a weather spoons. Can't go wrong with the spoons. The cat's gone for the sirloin steak. And I'm having a mixed grill with some onion rings on the side. We have a winner. Beer right here. All right, so back to the hotel and I need to do a little bit of editing before I go to bed and we need to be up quite early again in the morning to catch breakfast. And then we're gonna be meeting up with another couple of subscribers and checking out some more old school Fords. Massive thanks to Mark for inviting us down to check out the Mark II Escort. Really nice to meet you, mate, and also Emma and Lewis. If you thought this video was any good, please do give it a thumbs up and a share. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, click subscribe to keep up to date with all my future uploads and check the links in the description to my social media and my website. I'll also leave my email address down there for anyone who wants to contact me. Massive thanks to each and every one of you for your continued support on my channel. But other than that, until next time, from me and my beautiful girlfriend Kat, thanks for watching.